Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you here today from the Nut Grower Society Winter Meeting this year held in Salem, Oregon, pretty much the epicenter of hazelnut production here in the Willamette Valley. I'm here with Matt Miller. He is a, a local grower uh, in Hubbard. I uh, wanted to talk with you. You're the, the new president of the Nut Grower Society announced today at the meeting, so we really appreciate your leadership uh, going into this uh, this next year. I wanted to talk with you particularly about uh, e this new strain of Eastern filbert blight. You were one of the first to observe it, and so I wanted to hear your experience and how it differs uh, from the typical Eastern filbert blight that we thought we was behind us. Sure. Um, I first found it in a friend's of mine's Jefferson orchard, and that kind of surprised me. Um, it looked like old Barcelona an old Barcelona tree, or even worse, it looked kind of like an Ennis tree uh, that hadn't been managed with eastern filbert blight. So that concerned me, and that's his orchard's right down the road from ours. So uh, moving forward, it's going to change how we're going to manage eastern filbert blight on all the new gasaway resistant varieties. Now, pretty much, pretty much all of the the new uh, eastern filbert blight resistant varieties are with that gasaway gene, right? So it's so it's kind of up in the air that, you know, all of them might be susceptible, right? Yeah, that's it. It appears so. And we walked to a neighbor's orchard, and we found it in Yamhill, McDonald, Webster. Um, the thetas and the etas in this particular Jefferson orchard had it as well. Um, so it, it's out there and affecting what we can see so far. Every tree that has gas away as a resistance gene. Now you're doing some custom farming. You're going to do some hedging for them when you discovered. Uh, this and this concern. So uh, you got Oregon State University involved and they're uh, investigating the situation. We, we published uh, some information on it in our uh, January issue of Pacific Nut Producer. Um, but what's your best advice as a fellow grower? Uh, I think there's, there's a lot of concern. People have made some big investments in recent years with these new varieties on the farm uh, with the expectation that Eastern filbert blight was not going to be a problem. Eastern filbert blight's like a cancer, right, for these trees and a real scourge. So what are your thoughts? Sure. Well, I guess I'll start with saying there's still a lot that Oregon State does not know yet and that we don't know as growers. I'm hoping there's going to be some more information that comes out. Um, but what we're going to plan on doing on our farm is uh, all of our Barcelona orchards that we have a three to four spray program and in the spring we're going to implement that on all of our new gasaway trees as well moving forward and be out there scouting at least once a year and try and cut out infections uh, moving forward that's what we're going to do on our farm. Well I hope that the uh, typical blight sprays that we've used in the past are going to are going to be effective against this it's not something growers are planning on implementing and <laughs> this year if they had those resistant varieties um, do you know how, from you know, conversations, how widespread this might be? I mean, where was this first discovered? Was it, was it your friend's farm? Yeah, so it was on my buddy's farm just west of Woodburn, and I've gotten reports um, as far north as Wilsonville um, and kind of out in the Canby area. Uh, so I think it's primarily now contained to northern Marion County. Um, and... The, the good thing we have going for us now versus when we first discovered this blight 40 years ago or so is now we have the tools to manage it and we know how this disease works. So we are in a way better situation now than we were 35 or 40 years ago as an industry. Well, that's a comforting thought. Yeah. So, well, thank you, Matt, for taking the time. Congratulations as a new president of the Nut Grower Society. And we really look forward to hear your, uh, your farm will be the host of the Nut Grower Society summer tour. So we'll look forward to visiting with you there uh, come August. So be sure to be sure to attend. I'm Matthew Malcolm, PacificNutProducer.com.